but largely Hillary Clinton's comments here today, John, were based around the recent violence that we have seen. The police involved shootings of black men in Minnesota, in Louisiana, and then the killing of white police officers by a black gunman in Dallas. That was really uh, what she based her comments on around today. And remember, Hillary Clinton has some vulnerabilities herself, even as she calls for criminal justice reform because of her support in the 1990s for anti-crime legislation that ultimately helped contribute to this era of mass incarceration that she now uh, speaks out uh, again. Uh -oh. uh, we just lost, uh, we just lost Brianna Keeler. Who with some Trump supporters, um, let's play what they said. They've been duking people like that. They come out of, out from under the rocks all the time around this time this year. It got nothing to do with Donald Trump. We're all Americans. I think we need to stop with all the race and stuff and the race being, like me and my friend right here, we just met today, we was talking. You know, we gotta stop with the race and stuff and, and this, that, we all Americans, man. And nobody paying David Duke, no mind. Um, clearly, <laughs> let, let me just yeah. be clear here. Obviously, the majority of Donald Trump supporters are not African American. I don't know how yeah. many African Americans were in that that building, but that is one uh, person that uh, we have chosen to cut that sound from. Uh the servers are no longer hooked up and working. I mean, if they are, they're with the FBI. And, and people know that they're not available to hack anymore. I mean, it's like Donald Trump saying, oh, you know, I hope Putin goes get, and gets in a 1985 DeLorean and goes and finds those 33,000 emails. I mean, it's absolutely it's ridiculous. Not like that at all. I'll tell it's you, not like that I'll at tell all. you what scares me. What scares me is the fact that the emails are out there somewhere probably and that we could have a president that what? could be blackmailed what? over them. What, That's wait, wait, what concerns you, me. It's you about our national invent, security. No, hold on. You can't just invent things. You can't just invent things. I'm not things. inventing you anything. Just invented I, I an mean, entire this is... thing. The FBI has already come out with a report on Hillary Clinton's emails. What you just said was an invented thing. There's no 33,000 emails. There are other work related emails that they did not produce to state and that we did not find elsewhere and that are now gone because they deleted all emails they did not produce to state and the lawyers then cleaned their devices in such a way as to preclude complete forensic recovery that are going to harm our national security. Hostile actors gained access to the private commercial email accounts of people with whom Secretary Clinton was in regular contact from her personal account. She also used her personal email extensively while outside the United States, including sending and receiving work-related emails in the territory of sophisticated adversaries. Given that combination of factors, we assess it is possible that hostile actors gained access to Secretary Clinton's personal email account. You, you know that there was an entire okay, year and a half. Is, we're not going to relitigate that. No, Amy, we're not going to relitigate that. Let but you can't talk. make things up. Not if you're going to invent things, okay? You can save your comments, I'm not going to invent opinion. things, but you the just FBI did. also you can't, said... Amy, no, the no, FBI no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma you cannot yes, invent FBI things, ma'am. FBI also said no, that she has not you, turned over... She didn't turn over all the emails. So no, ma'am. You cannot invent things. You cannot say things. You're putting out incredibly inflammatory information. You don't know... By the way... You may have seen that I recently launched a Snapchat account. I love it. I love it. Those messages disappear all by themselves. On the campaign trail is obviously going to be covered. So my question to you, without mentioning the Clintons and Bill Clinton, which has been <laughs> why we uh, which has been, which has been gone time. through. Wait, let me finish my statement. Yet yeah, my statement, which has already been litigated and relitigated, on its on the own merits. Donald Trump's statements on the campaign trail. You don't think it's fair that the media should be covering it? Oh, I don't think it's unfair. I just think it's silly. Look, he's silly. running against Hillary Clinton. Absolutely. He's running against the sexual harasser and abuser's enabler. <laughs> uh, so, again, I, I, I don't know why we're not talking about that. You know, it has been litigated. Well, we're, You're right we're, about that. we're not talking Hillary about that because it has nothing guilty. to do. It has nothing to do with what happened. She's not her husband. Her but husband Don, was in, she, well, hang on, her she, husband has she, been impeached had over that. But Donald that Trump's not known to be politically correct or a politician and either. And you're Goodness still, God. hold on guys, both of you are talking over me. Let me finish. And then first Kurt, and then I will let you respond. You're talking about something that happened over a decade ago. The man has been impeached for it. She is not responsible for her husband's actions, yet you are bringing it into a campaign and it doesn't seem fair. What if you did the same thing with Donald Trump from something his spouse or his father, if someone else did in his family? It has nothing to do with him running for president. We're talking about his own actions, his own individual merit. So oh, if you're going to talk about Hillary Clinton, then bring Hillary Clinton's actions into it. Don't bring oh, her I husband.
Clinton's I, actions I, I'd into like it. I'd like to bring Hillary Clinton's actions into it. Absolutely. When she was the, given the choice between standing with a serial sexual abuser and All right, with Kurt. women who are stop, being stop, violated, stop, she stop, chose stop, a stop, husband, stop, stop. A That's not fair. Harasser. That's not fair. That's not that fair. Can we fair. stop that, please? It, it is fair. not fair. It, it is decision, not fair. It is a low blow. Women. It is the, yes, I want to end this. So, this is the fair. lowest of the low, and it has no, nothing to do with Hillary no. Clinton. It hey, is just a cheap to shot it's that, to millions of other can you please Americans. stop? Can we stop? Can we cut him off, please? Than, uh, Thank you. Donald can we Trump end this? Thank you. We're done. Thank you. We'll be right back. When you get one-on-one, -on -one, especially if it's Hillary, okay, Donald Trump will go places nobody is willing to go, where the media at this point isn't willing to go. Bringing up Clinton's women who say they were intimidated by Hillary, having them come forward and speak a litany of, of issues that I'm you can't that even imagine. I'm thinking that might be a winning argument for Donald Trump right at this moment. That isn't going to be a winning argument sure for Donald Trump. Sure it will. Trump. How many derogatory things has he said about women? You know, you know how many young women, women are 75% right now. You know how many he young women not going in this to make that up. There is you know no how many, way okay. he can win. Do you know how many young women in this country don't even know that Bill Clinton was impeached? No, maybe they heard Monica Lewinsky. They don't know the women that, that have accused Bill Clinton of sexual improprieties and that has say they've been threatened and intimidated by Hillary Clinton. You know, Hillary Clinton said that people have a right to be heard. Don't let anyone silence your voice. You have a right to be heard and you have a right to be believed. We're with you. And I think that in some of the most prominent cases, not only were the accusations not disproven, they were confirmed and acknowledged by President Clinton. How's that? So I think, well, he, he acknowledged he had a relationship with uh, Jennifer Flowers. He paid Paula Jones off uh, in a settlement and, in, 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 and, and has acknowledged much of what Monica Lewinsky says happened. Monica Lewinsky says that you used a cigar as a sexual aid with her in the Oval Office area, which you'll be lying. Yes, no, or, or won't answer. So those are three pretty prominent examples. A, w a girl who was raped by a pedophile that Hillary Clinton oh, bragged on. about getting off. Wait, let me finish. No, that no, no, Hillary no. Clinton, what do you mean? Let, you don't even want to hear it? That Hillary Clinton is on tape bragging about, as a lawyer, getting off on a technicality. An audio recording of an interview with Mrs. Clinton from the early 1980s was dug up. In that clip, Mrs. Clinton seems to admit she knew the defendant was guilty. In that case, I recommend that guy. That was, it was, it was, it was a fascinating case. A really interesting case. This guy was accused of breaking a 12-year-old. Of course, he claimed that he did all this stuff. He took a lot of paper tests. I had to take which he passed, which forever destroyed my faith in politics. <laughs> 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 how, how did it turn out? Oh, he played play bargain. He got him off. He was time served in the county jail. He did the jail about two months. That woman now says, Hillary ruined my life. What's, what, okay. what's, what's, I'm gonna that's not I'm gonna fair? Leave it there. Clinton, no, no. Thanks, God guys. forbid I'm that I should. There. <laughs> God forbid that I should defend Steve Hillary Malzberg, Clinton. Steve Malzberg, Judson She was appointed Phillips. to represent somebody. So she's got All to right. do her job. I'm going to leave it there. That was 40 Goodbye. Years ago. Hillary Clinton blamed the victim. Number 101 when you're dealing with rape cases, don't blame the victim. She blamed a 12-year-old girl, a 6th grade 12-year-old girl, of seeking the attention of older men and fantasizing about being with older men. There is audio. Wait, we, we haven't corroborated this. any of this. So, I mean, I, I just think you should be very... It's I mean, widely reported. Not it's well, widely why, reported. Widely reported. So is the National Enquirer widely reported. We, we, we can go. Mean anything. Not, can... It's not on this network, I would point out. Hillary Clinton had accused her of uh, some sort of uh, 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 culpability in her own attack. Widely reported. We, widely we, reported. We can go. Mean anything. Not, can... It's not on this network, I would point out. Wait, we, we haven't corroborated any of this. Clinton wrote of the victim, I have been informed that the complainant is emotionally unstable with a tendency to seek out older men and engage in fantasizing. Wait, we, we haven't corroborated any of this. It's not on this network, I would point out. Mrs. Clinton seems to admit she knew the defendant was guilty. Wait, we, we haven't corroborated any of this. It's not on this network, I would point out. And I do think the audio really changes it, where she's saying he took a polygraph, and then she says that it forever, you know, destroyed killed, her, destroyed belief, her faith, faith in polygraph. Yeah. She, she, she thought he she's was admitting guilty. that he's guilty. Right. Yeah. I That's think a whole it's a question. problem. I think it really pokes a it, hole in that narrative. Now, Dan, it's not on this network, I would point out.